And this week marks a first for Indianapolis Motor Speedway as it hosts its first dirt track race in history. Yeah, so the race is called Driven to Save Lives BC 39. It runs tonight at IMS. It honors the late Brian Clawson, who died two years ago during a race. Our Megan McEwen live at the track now with Brian's father and has more on this evening, Megan. Hey guys, that's right. Yes, I'm here with Tim Clausen, the late Brian Clausen's father, ahead of the Driven to Save Lives BC 39 that runs tonight here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And I want to start by saying this: uh, you guys decided to partner with Driven to Save Lives. Why was that? Who you guys decided to go with? Well, you know, Driven to Save Lives was a, a campaign that started with the 100th running of the Indy 500 to honor Justin Wilson, and uh, and they did just that. Kicked off the campaign. That was in 2016. In 2017, uh, we met with them on some other stuff, um, how to adopt our family, things like. Like that um, and the conversation uh, came up on the original chasing 200 donors that we had uh, started for Brian um, and how successful that was and how we could partner the two uh, to continue the cause of uh, donation and tissue donation. Now this is the weekend of the Brickyard but we have a dirt track inside here of turn three. Uh, what does it mean to you that IMS decided to honor Brian with a USAC race here. Oh, it's it's incredible. You know, this dream started uh, you know over two years ago with an idea that Doug Bowles had uh, to build a little dirt track for Tony Stewart. He was retiring as a as a thank you and invited out some guys that were racing, and Brian was one of the invitees. Um, through all that, Brian and Doug got got talking about how this really could become a reality, um, and so it went from an idea to a dream to uh, you know to thank the IMS, uh, USAC, um, and all the partners that helped put this together. Together, a, a reality. Now, uh, Brian did die during a USAC race. A lot of people would probably distance themselves from it, but your family has stayed so closely tied in that community. Why is that? Well, you know, you know, you know the simple answer is when when we went up and down the road. You know, Brian would Brian and I would have conversations about the what if scenarios, and uh, he made it very clear that you know he would want us if something ever were to happen to, to carry on and race on. As he said, um, the outpouring from this community to our family uh, after Brian's death. Uh, was something that uh, I don't think anybody expected. We certainly didn't expect it. So there was no way we were going to leave this sport. Um, I, I wasn't, I didn't know if we'd come back like this, um, you know, with six car teams and things like that, but it was never, never a question if we'd stay in, in the sport.